Hey guys, my name is Brian Glass. Today I'm going to be doing a gear review on the Cast Gear Steelhead Glove. I'm going to show you some things I really like about the glove. I'm going to give you my honest opinion about the gloves. And at the end of the video, I'm going to be doing a waterproof test to see how waterproof they really are. Stay tuned. Starting to look like a mountain man. My beard trimmer's dead and I can't find the charger and uh, she's starting to a little crooked on me. Before I really get into this review, I want you guys to know that this is not a paid advertisement, but just a warning, I am actually an affiliate salesman. Um, I'm gonna give you my honest opinion about these gloves, but I do have an affiliate code set up through Cast, so if you decide you do want these gloves and you wanna try a pair like I did, you can use my affiliate code and get 20% off your whole purchase on Cast. Um, I'll leave that in the description. It is wild trout, one word. So the reason that I never used gloves fishing before these gloves is because I always hated how I lost sensitivity and I also hated how most gloves in the market today are cloth and they wipe the slime coat off of the fish, off of the tail. If you're gonna hold it for a picture, you're wiping the slime coat off and it's better to just use your bare hands to wet your hands and then hold the fish for a picture or what, what have you. Um, Something that Cast Gear did very well on these gloves that changed my perspective on that is they have this type of rubberized, rubberized soft um, hand grip, um, and it's actually safer on the fish. Um, it's actually safer on the fish than just your bare hands, than the oils on your skin and whatnot. Uh, so that is kind of the reason I was like, well, I'm going to give these a shot. Um, it took some getting used to. I'm not going to lie. At first, I, I really just couldn't get a grip on my line. I was kind of looking down and when I'm hauling my line, uh, it was like hard to get used to the lack of sensitivity compared to just your bare skin. And so it took a while for me to get into it, but after an hour or two of using these gloves, um, I really got used to it a lot quicker than I thought it would and it wasn't even a burden at all. Um, I have taken these gloves in particular to the Olympic Peninsula. Um, I've taken them fishing to some secret places at night. I've taken them fishing uh, to Pyramid Lake. And these are awesome for all sorts of cold weather, for stripping streamers, if your hands are getting wet. A lot of, lot of different uses, and uses for these gloves, not just when it's very, very cold. Besides the fact that these gloves are really aesthetically pleasing, um, there's a couple things that really stand out that they put into designing these gloves. Um, so they're supposed to be 100% waterproof. Um, it's uh, made with OutDry, uh, which is a patented uh, waterproofing system. Um, and then on the inside, it's, it has a fleece liner, and so uh, very warm, keep your hands um, nice and dry on the inside. So I'm gonna put this glove on here. So it's very firm fitting, uh, pretty aesthetically pleasing glove here. Um, it's got a really nice Velcro system and a strap down right here to keep it nice and tight um, around your sleeves if you want. Um, I normally, when I have my wading jacket on, I will tuck my wading jacket into the gloves and strap over the wading jacket. Uh, and it really helps seal out a lot of water. Um, so something else about these gloves that's really nice is you get one glove on and normally it's a pain to get your second glove on, but they put this awesome loop right here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so you got one glove on, it's real cold out, and normally you're working the glove on, trying to slide it from the fingers. This loop right here, just like that, really awesome. Uh, Really awesome design they got going on these gloves. Very, very nice fit. Um, good flexibility. Uh, I Obviously with gloves on, you can't tie knots as well. Um, there's a few basic knots that I can tie. I can still tie, you know, like a uni knot or whatnot. Um, but if I do have to tie a loop knot or something, I'm sliding the gloves off real quick, tying my uni knot, and then really quickly, hands are still dry slide the gloves on. I, I, I really am impressed with all the things they put into the design on these gloves. Um, I'm, I'm gonna give them a five star. I've used a few other gloves in the market. Very unimpressed with the way that they're scraping the slime coat off. Very unimpressed with the way that they're pain to get on and off and they're not actually that warm. 
the fleece liner on these gloves. Make sure that the inside stays very warm. Uh, now I'm gonna move on and I'm gonna do the waterproof test. I'm gonna fill the glove up with water, see if water comes out, and we'll see if it really can stand up to the waterproof test. All right guys, I'm back at the sink. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fill it up with water and see if water leaks out of the fingers. So let's see. I've got a lot of water in here. No drippage whatsoever. I've used these gloves quite a bit already. Still waterproof. I've washed them. Still waterproof. Um, I'm very impressed. I really, really... It's actually kind of incredible. Uh, I could tell that they were waterproof when I was using them. Um, but I thought after I had washed them a few times that there might be some drippage, but there's nothing uh, Completely dry So So guys in quick review the Caskier steelhead glove I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 on design. There's a lot of really cool things that they put in the gloves They were very well thought through. I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 on how waterproof they are I'm gonna give them an 8 out of 10 on uh, sensitivity there's obviously when you're wearing gloves you can never have the same sensitivity as your hands um, but they do do very well once you get used to them uh, and then I'm gonna give them a 10 out of 10 on looks they're just a really good looking glove and I like wearing them I like wearing them for photos so um, remember to subscribe if you want these gloves use the affiliate code it's in the description uh, let me know what you think if you get these gloves and if you have them before I'd love to hear your thoughts on the gloves Thanks so much and tune in next time.